subtraction. Example: Subtract three kilograms one hundred five grams from fourteen kilograms one hundred and fifteen grams. Look at the problem. First, subtract the digits in ones place. Five minus five is equal to zero. Next, subtract the digit in tens place. One minus zero is equal to one. Next, subtract the digit in hundreds place. One minus one is equal to zero. Next, subtract the digits in thousands place. Four minus three is equal to one. Finally, subtract the digits in ten thousand place. One minus zero is equal to one. Therefore, fourteen kilograms, one hundred and fifteen grams minus three kilograms, one hundred five grams is equal to eleven kilograms and ten grams. Another example: Let us subtract thirty-four meters twenty-eight centimeters from sixty-eight meters seventeen centimeters. Look at the problem. First. Subtract the digits in ones place. Eight is greater than seven, so we borrow one ten from tens place. Then its value is seventeen. Therefore, seventeen minus eight is equal to nine. Next, subtract the digits in tens place. Two is greater than zero, so we borrow one ten from hundreds place. Then its value is ten. Therefore. Ten minus two is equal to eight. Next, subtract the digits in hundreds place. Seven minus four is equal to three. Finally, subtract the digits in thousand place. Six minus three is equal to three. Therefore, sixty-eight meters seventeen centimeters minus thirty-four meters. Twenty-eight centimeters is equal to thirty-three meters eighty-nine centimeters. Multiplication. Example: Multiply five meters forty-two centimeters by six. Look at the problem. First, multiply the digit in ones place by six. Six into two is equal to twelve. One is carry forward to tens place. Next, multiply the digit in tens place by six. Six into four is equal to twenty-four. Add twenty-four plus one is equal to twenty-five. Two is carry forward to hundreds place. Next, multiply the digit in hundreds place by six. Six into five is equal to thirty. Add thirty plus two is equal to thirty-two. Here, thirty meters, two hundred and fifty-two centimeters, is equal to thirty meters plus two meters plus fifty-two centimeters, is equal to thirty-two meters fifty-two centimeters. Multiply fourteen kilograms one hundred and fifty grams by nine. See the problem. First, multiply the digit in grams by nine. One hundred and fifty into nine is equal to one thousand three hundred and fifty grams. Next, multiply the digits in kilograms by nine. Fourteen into nine is equal to one hundred and twenty-six kilograms. Now we convert one twenty-six kilograms one thousand three hundred. And fifty grams is equal to one hundred twenty-six kilograms plus one kilogram plus three hundred and fifty grams is equal to one hundred and twenty-seven kilograms three hundred and fifty grams. The reason: divide nine kilograms three hundred grams by five. Look at the problem. Nine thousand three hundred divided by five. Nine divided by five only one time. 
then 9 minus 5 is equal to 4. 3 is brought down next to it. So we now have 43. 43 divided by 5 is equal to 8. Therefore, 8 is written in the question place next to 1. 43 minus 40 is equal to 3. 0 is brought down next to it. So we now have 30. 30 divided by 5 is equal to 6. Therefore, 6 is written in question place next to 8. Finally, we brought down another 0. 0 divided by 5 is equal to 0. Therefore, 0 is written in question place next to 6. 9 kilograms, 300 grams divided by 5 is equal to 9 into 1000 grams plus 300 grams divided by 5. 9300 gram divided by 5 Therefore, 9 kilograms, 300 grams divided by 5 is equal to 1,860 grams.